welcome back to the channel. This is a fairly standard block of ash, which is normal colour, normal grain, until you turn it over. And on this side, we've got the most amazing pattern. So I'm going to try and make something with this, but leave this face as flat as possible. So what I was thinking of doing was creating a bud vase. Uh, a bud vase is just a normal vase, but inside you put a, a tube of something like this, and that way you can put water in the tube, put the flower in, and it stays alive. And that saves us the problem of having to coat the inside of the wood with a resin or anything like that to keep it waterproof. Now, the first step when doing this is you've got to find a center to work around. Now the top and bottom are all plain flat and are parallel to each other, but the sides are a little bit wonky. So I'm just going to get a right angle between the two sides so we can then hopefully find the centers. Right, we found the centers. Now we're gonna mount this with a worm screw. Uh, and because the worm screw makes this sit flat against the chuck, it's always best to try and find the flattest end to set it into. So this is the flattest end. So we're gonna put a, our screw hole in there and then mount it onto the worm screw there. Right, because the way we've got it mounted, we've got a, a worm screw this end and a tailstock this end. At the moment, it's perfectly safe. If we were to take the tailstock out there, it's going to put a lot of uh, extra forces on the worm screw. And as the worm screw is only held into end grain, there is a chance that it's going to work loose a little bit. So depending on how I feel it's going, I may choose my decision for an internal tenon, sorry, an internal recess, and change that to an external tenon. So, but we'll start getting the edges of this round, start, and then we'll decide what we do on the bottom. Now remember, this is going to be the top, this is going to be the base. We're not wanting to create a, a full round on this, we're just wanting to start rounding the edges. Okay, we're all sharpened up, got the face shield on, we'll start turning. Initially we can start turning this about 750, uh, we can soon pick that up, I'm pretty sure. Okay, that's our tenon made. We have a choice now, we either can continue shaping in its current position, or we can turn it round and carry on the other way up. And I think we'll turn it around. Right, now we can carry on shaping. Remember this is now the bottom, that's the top.
Okay, now I haven't talked to you yet about my plan for the design. We were talking about the basics that we're going to leave uh, the face as, as flat as we can and then curve the bowl around it. But uh, we haven't talked about the fine detail. That's mainly because I don't have a plan yet. Uh, what I'm going to try and do is to start turning and see what feels right, what starts to look right, and uh, take it from there. Uh, we know, well, all we know at the moment is that this is the top end. So whether or not we go for uh, wider at the top and narrow at the base, or the other way around, or a mix of the two, whether we go like an hourglass shape, I'm not sure yet. We'll figure it out. Okay, at the moment, I'm liking the thought of broad shoulders and then narrowing down to a more slightly slender base. So, curving from there to there. So we'll just carry on with that. Okay, I like that. I put a little bit of a, a dip off the shoulder just to give it a little bit of shape, a bit more interest there. Now I do need this neck to be a little bit thinner, so we'll start working on that and then just refining a couple of these shapes. Uh, I've made this little dip here because that's where we're going to be parting off. So I'm just trying to figure out exactly where the bottom of the, the vase is going to sit. Okay, that's coming pretty well. I'm going to get the scraper out now and start refining these lines, tidying up this edge, and then we'll start worrying about boring out the hole for our uh, tube and then refining the inside of the neck. I was hoping I'd be able to ignore this split from the uh, from the knot in the wood, but I don't think that's going to be the case. So I'm just going to fill this with a bit of uh, black CA glue. Let it sit for a couple of seconds, hit it with an activator, and then continue. Let's give that a couple of seconds. Right, that should have had long enough to set. So we'll just skim over that and clear it off. I 
I think the shape's pretty much there, pretty happy the way it is. Next step now is to drill out our hole for our tube. Okay, I've got a nice long uh, auger bit here, 20 millimeters wide, the same as my tube. Now I want to go in obviously the depth of the tube, but I just want to go a little bit further than that, just to make sure that it's below the surface so I can curve out the edges a little bit. So I'm just gonna put a bit of tape on the shaft so I know when to stop. Should do it. All right, let's make a hole. My wife's got words when she comes near and smells burning. Right, that's the hole. The reason for the burning, I think, was because I didn't clear out uh, enough of the uh, wood shavings. Uh, and they just heated up inside with the friction and just start to smoke a little bit. It's not a problem. Right, I'll get this all a bit out of the way and we can carry on. So making a mark on the inside of the rim where that tube is touching so I can see where I've got to shape. Now we know the thickness we are in here, I can just refine this neck a little bit. Hmm. I think we're about there. Now to start the wonderful job of sanding. I'll let you watch the start, but as usual, I'll bring you back when it's all done. There we go, all sanded up. So, I'm gonna figure out what kind of finish to put on. Right, I don't want too heavy a finish on here to distract away from the, uh, the wood grain. So I've still got some of the shellac and linseed oil mix from uh, last week. So I'm gonna use this on the surface. I'm going to give this a couple of coats with the right light buffing in between, I think. That makes it certainly bringing out the beautiful parts of this wood. Right, I'll put another coat of this and then we'll part it off and have a look at what we've done. Well, there we have it. A rather pretty little, well, it's quite big actually, uh, bud vase. I'm so glad we managed to 
flatten off this front edge to keep this figure in the ash because it really is quite beautiful, quite stunning. Uh, and the rest of the ash is, is still nice. We've got a bit of figure running around the sides uh, and the changing angles certainly help to create interest. But it's that front that we really wanted to keep. That really is quite special. So as soon as we put in our little tube, now we have a very usable piece of art. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this week's video. It's a nice, easy project. And with Mother's Day coming up, we thought you might like some inspiration as to what to make your mother or loved one. Uh, this one, I suppose it could be for my mother, but it could also be for the mother-in-law. But the mother-in-law has got an awful large collection of my stuff already that she's uh, conned out of me. So I think this one's for my mum. Apart from that, thank you very much indeed for watching. If you uh, leave a comment uh, and subscribe, then you're going to be entered into the giveaway for our first anniversary, which is in uh, on the 16th of May, which is in which is very very close indeed. Apart from that, thank you very much indeed for watching, and I'll see you next time.